morning to all following us on our live stream, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. Mass will start at 9 a.m. We're starting our live stream early to allow the Archdiocese time to connect, and we're hoping to increase our views and availability online. Thank you for your patience, and Mass will start at 9 a.m. God bless, and have a wonderful day. I see that we had some more viewers joining us. Again, good morning and welcome to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Mass will start at 9 a.m. We started our live stream early to allow the Archdiocese to connect to it. Thank you for joining us and we will begin Mass at 9 a.m.
Good morning again, everyone. Mass will start at 9 a.m. We are starting our live stream early to allow the Archdiocese more time to connect. Thank you for your comments. God bless and have a wonderful day. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Joseph the Worker. Let us pray the entrance antiphon. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us first of all acknowledge <coughs> our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate Christ's sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph, and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing, murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues and Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? They replied, King, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard a voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, and he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized. And when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus. And he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues. And he is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go, Go out, out to, to all, all the world, world and, and tell, tell the good, good news. news. Praise the Lord, all you nations, glorify Him, all you peoples. Go, Go out, out to all, all the world and, and tell, tell the good, good news. news. For steadfast is His kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go, Go out, out to all, all the world and, and tell the, the good news. news. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, 
and drink His blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. And unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in, the, in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Whether we accept or not, we live in a world of commercial advertisement. Wherever we go, we always find commercial advertisement. Of course, in all TV networks, in all TV programs, even in social media, in newspaper, in the streets, and all, mostly in public places. I would say as, as if in everywhere. And this is part of our culture in life. And I would say even uh, some churches adopt such strategy and evangelization. One time, I was driving, and when I passed by a Christian church, I saw a billboard, and there was a caption there. Uh, it's written like this. This church is like a Walmart. You find everything. Also, I read something like this in the caption of the billboard in one of the churches. Prayer is the first and original Wi-Fi connection to God. And of course, uh, in all this advertisement, aside from... Uh, uh, trying to give a message, but also trying to project an image. I'm saying this because in the past days, the theme of the Gospel reading speaks about the teaching or the discourse of Jesus on the bread of life. And Jesus Christ was not only advertising this, but is truly offering to the people and Jesus is repeatedly saying in the sacred scripture, My flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. And whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Of course, during, uh, the people during that time, they could accept that uh, their ancestors were given manna from heaven to, uh, to be eaten. Because they know that bread is a staple food, it's very important in one's survival, but they could not accept and understand how can they eat Jesus and became their food. But Jesus is trying to give them this uh, uh, opportunity that uh, he is offering this food as a source of eternal life. And Jesus is giving them that they should take that food, that quality of food that would give them nourishment and give them lasting effect and having that experience of eternal life. So in other words, Jesus is trying them that there is no way that they could connect and have eternal life if they would not accept him. So there is a need for us to encounter God, especially Jesus in order for us to have the kind of life-giving and life-changing experience in our life. As you have heard in the first reading, you know, the, the life of Saul. He was a great persecutor of Christians. But there was a change in his life when he encountered Jesus. 
And when Jesus said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And who are you, sir? And when he realized that it was Lord, he changed his life and became the great evangelizer to proclaim that Jesus Christ is the true God, the Son of God, and he has risen from the dead. So my dear friends in Christ, we are asked also to become witness of our Lord. And we could do it in many ways. But Jesus Christ is trying us to say that only in he, with relationship with him that we could have the kind of courage and boldness and strength to proclaim his message and the good news. Something that I would always refer to as a good model, as a witness, is no other than St. Joseph, as we celebrate today his feast. St. Joseph the worker, that St. Joseph was not only known as, as a pious and just man, he was also a, a silent man and became a witness to, to our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Joseph formed Jesus to love and value work as showed to his profession as carpenter. And Joseph, St. Joseph taught us three important things in his life. The first one is working in silence. The second thing is working in peace. The third but not the least is working in love. Working in silence will help us become more fruitful. Working in peace will help us find joy. Working in love will help us glorify God. So my dear friends, as we continue and observe this season of Easter, let us ask the Lord, most especially at this Mass, to become truly witness of Him so that we can proclaim and profess Him in our life as also St. Joseph did. Amen. Amen. <coughs> In this month of the Blessed Virgin Mary and also the feast of St. Joseph the Worker, we ask them to intercede for us as we present our petitions and prayers to our Lord. That all of us may be nourished and transformed by Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the Word of God we put an end to violence in the name of religion between nations and peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That persecuted Christians throughout the world may be protected by God within their homes and churches. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor and the unemployed may find decent means of livelihood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the newly initiated in our community may be led by Jesus into a deeper communion with Him, especially in this time and season of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our deceased loved ones may feast forever with Christ at his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the special intention of this Mass for May Fitzpatrick, for our intentions and those intentions and people listed in our prayer list. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May now offer to God all our prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father of mercy and love, hear and answer these prayers that we offer. May the intercession of St. Joseph the worker help us to see dignity of work in our actions. 
We ask these prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Let's be God, God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord. We are sacrificed in your sight this day. Be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good, 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 good of his church. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph the Worker, to give you fitting praise, to glori glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse, the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zion of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Zion of the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have, you have set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. This meeting of the Father by the Father of Jesus Christ is in the family right for us to receive it. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm I not worthy of this and under my roof, roof. but only, only say the, the word, word my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through Him. Alleluia. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I just want to reiterate my announcement uh, yesterday that uh, this month is a month dedicated in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So we are encouraged to uh, uh, pray our Marian devotion. And today, the first day of May, in behalf of the Church in the United States, Archbishop Jose Gomez, Archbishop of Los Angeles, and the President of the United States of Catholic Bishops Conference, we lead the prayer of renewal of the consecration of our country to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it will take place uh, uh, this afternoon at 3 o'clock. So let us join with him and uh, also uh, dedicating uh, our country uh, and also uh, in behalf of of our country to this prayer of renewal of consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary. May you have a wonderful and blessed uh, weekend. Stay uh, safe and well. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty and loving God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.